What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to I don't even know how many videos now to another Street Fighter 2 video. Uh, I'm getting lost within my own damn thoughts. Um, welcome back though. I just want to talk quickly about something that a lot of people have been asking for in the comment section, specifically new people uh, and some even, even just veterans who may have not known this. This might be for you. I mean, you probably do know this, but hell, you know what? Let's talk about it anyways for new players. A lot of people have been asking about bonds. The reason why this got brought up is uh, folks are now choosing between Gen, Jury, uh, Elena, Blanca, etc. Right from the from the street art box, which I dropped a like a, a couple hours ago. People were asking, well, if I have this unit and this unit, what should I go for? Well, there's really no definitive answer, right? I kind of gave you guys a glimpse of what I think you should go for. So patience, number one. Like you don't have to pick anybody right away in case you get a dupe of Gen and Jury. Uh, Jury, you can pick later. Uh, if you have a copy ready, you can obviously you know optimize them and, and make them A plus or whatever the case may be in terms of rank. But some people are, are picking the opposite. They want to do the character they don't have, and that's completely valid. And let me explain why. The reason why a lot of people don't, it is a valid thing, a lot of people don't know this, is because something called bonds exists, right? And and this here, for example, is an example of someone who doesn't look at their bonds uh, because he's got a maxed out account. But two things that people are, are not aware of. Um, number one, when you get a bond, you don't need to click this for it to activate. It's instantly activated for you. Like this is already there. Don't even worry about clicking. Like it does not change the stats and the stats not, didn't get altered whatsoever there. The game automatically uh, does it for you, but it wants you to recognize that you have those bonds. So it wants you to click on there so you can see the stat increases. Okay. Now these stat increases are pretty substantial. Okay. And the way the, the stat increases will work is as you rank up the bonds characters, they will give you said stat onto your main character, right? For example, Rose provides atta attack and defense. As she goes up, attack gets higher, defense gets higher, and then as she goes up, the attack bonus becomes a percentage rather than a flat thing, which is what you want, and you get a crit damage, and then you can see here it's the same thing with the with the triple S. So bonds are extremely important. Like they are they are going to raise your character to another level, right? And I'll do a whole other video if it's worth going from SSS to plus five and what the difference between that is. So the next character I get that's brand new, I'm gonna get to SSS. We're gonna compare the stats and do each each upgrade to see what the stat padding is for each one up to plus five and see if it's actually worth getting them to plus five versus staying at SSS or SSS plus one, right? So, but this is, this is the point of having the bonds. Now, the second thing a lot of people don't know about, and this will be a quick one, guys. I'm not gonna take long on this. Um, is the fact that you don't actually need to be in the same team as these units, okay? A lot of people are like, well, do I need to use these units in order to get the stats? No, no, you just have to own the units, okay? Just own the units. That's all you have to do, guys. These are characters that are sitting in my uh, my repertoire. I don't use any of them except for Rose and Cami. Actually, I don't know how I use Mad Ryu, but they're all assists, right? So you don't have to use them. Every single uh, character that you have that is in your bond section is just acquired and owned and ranked. You do not have to put them on any team with the same characters, so you will get those bonus stats no matter what. Uh, so don't worry about it. Again, I just want to make this a simple video just to kind of give that out there because a lot of people have been asking, and I'm assuming you're new players, probably never played a gotcha like this. But yes, bonds are always going to be available, and that's kind of the purpose of choosing a different character, right? For example, uh, Trendy Cami does feed off of Gen. If you don't have Gen, if you have Jury, but you want Trendy Cami to be a main, you might want to invest to get the extra 100 attack and 25 defense. Now, I will preface with this though, okay? That stat right there is minuscule. It's absolutely minuscule. So jury getting a jury to A plus is going to be way more beneficial than getting a bond in, in, in Gen, unless you're just a collector. Right? A lot of people play gacha games just to collect units and, and have these units just to be like, I have it. And that's, that's pretty much it for them, right? So yeah, that's how bonds works, guys. Real simple one. I just wanted to throw that out there uh, just because a lot of people have been asking and I don't want people to be confused in terms of the information and how, how to acquire them. All right, guys, Payne, quick short video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Take care. Talk to you in the next one.